For today's video, we are going to talk about what is direct proportion and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say direct proportion, the ratios of two quantities being compared is constant. Always remember, in direct proportion, an increase of one variable will also increase the other variable. And the decrease of one variable will also the decrease of the other. And direct proportion is written in the form of A is to B such that C is to D. The outer term is what we call extremes. The inner term, that is what we call means. And we can write this one as A over B equals C over D. And if you are going to simplify, you are going to have A times D equals C times B. And these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is direct proportion. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, it takes Andy 30 minutes to burn 200 calories in a treadmill. How long will it take for Andy to burn 400 calories? To determine the number of minutes for Andy to burn 400 calories, let us write the given ratios. Let us have 30 minutes is to 200 calories. On the other side, let us have x. That is the number of minutes that we are looking in order for Andy to burn 400 calories. So let us write this one as 30 over 200 equals x over 400. And then 200 multiplied by x, that is 200x. And let us have 30 multiplied by 400. Let us divide both sides by 200. Let us cancel this one. 400 divided by 200, that is 2. So we are going to have 30 multiplied by 2. So x is 30 times 2 and that is 60 minutes. And this will be the value of x. So therefore, it will take 60 minutes for Andy to burn 400 calories. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, an artisan bread maker uses 2,000 grams of flour to make 4 loaves of handcrafted bread. How many grams of flour is needed to make letter A, 2 loaves of bread, letter B, 7 loaves of bread? On letter A, to determine how many grams of flour is needed for 2 loaves of bread, let us have 2,000 grams of flour is to 4 loaves of handcrafted bread is equal to X, that is the number of grams of flour needed for 2 loaves of bread. So let us write this one as... 2,000 over 4 equals x over 2. 2,000 divided by 4, that is 500, equals x over 2. And to simplify, let us have x equals 500 times 2, and that is 1,000 grams of flour. So this will be the number of grams of flour needed for two loaves of bread. On letter B, to determine how many grams of flour needed for seven loaves of bread, let us have 2,000 grams of flour is to four loaves of handcrafted bread equals Y. That is the number of grams of flour needed for seven loaves of bread. So let us write this one as 2,000 over 4 equals Y over 7. 2,000 divided by 4, that is 500, equals y over 7. And to simplify, let us have y equals 500 times 7. 500 times 7, that is 3,500 grams of flour. So this will be the number of grams of flour needed for 7 loaves of bread. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, if Trina works 20 hours, she earns 600 pesos. How much does she earn if she works 30 hours? To determine how much she earns if she works 30 hours, let us write the given ratios as 
20 hours is to 600 pesos equals 30 hours is to x. x, that is the amount she earned if she works 30 hours. So let us write this one as 20 over 600 equals 30 over x. So let us have 20 multiplied by x, that is 20x, and then 30 times 600. Let us divide both sides by 20. Let us cancel this one. 600 divided by 20, that is 30. So we are going to have 30 times 30. And that is 900 pesos. So this will be the amount she earned if she works 30 hours. And this will be our answer. On our last example, a menu which serves 5 people requires 3 cups of flour. How many cups of flour are needed for the menu to serve 20 people? To determine the number of cups of flour needed for the menu to serve 20 people, let us write the given ratios as 5 people is to 3 cups of flour equals 20 people is to x. x that is the number of cups of flour needed for the menu to serve 20 people. So let us rewrite this one as 5 over 3 equals 20 over x. So let us have 5 times x, that is 5x, and let us have 3 times 20. Let us divide both sides by 5. Let us cancel this one. 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So we are going to have 3 times 4. 3 times 4, that is 12. So this will be the number of cups of flour needed for the menu to serve for 20 people. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.